activists in Hong Kong on Thursday put a bust of late Nobel Peace Laureate and political prisoner Liu Xiaobo on display in the middle of a bustling shopping district. Ahead of a planned vigil to commemorate those who died in a 1989 military crackdown on the student-led protests in Tiananmen Square. Rights activists also collected signatures calling for the release of Lu's widow Lu Sha, who has been held under house arrest since her husband's award was announced in October 2010. Despite having been accused of no crime, organizers say they plan to take the bus to the annual June 4 vigil to remind people of Lu Xiaobo's contribution to China's pro-democracy movement. Former League of Social Democrats, LSD, lawmaker and event organizer Seng Qinxing said Liu's attempt to move China towards a more democratic and accountable form of government is now being keenly felt in Hong Kong, where the 2014 Occupy Central movement failed to achieve universal suffrage. China may have taken off economically speaking but it is lagging far behind in terms of democratic development, Tseng told RFA on Thursday. Hong Kong is like that too, but things are even worse for Liu Xia in mainland China. She has been under continuous house arrest for more than seven years, he said. We want to pay our respects to the dead, but also to achieve freedom for the living. As soon as possible, Fang Ziyang, who heads the Hong Kong Federation of Social Work Students, said many in the former British colony draw similarities between the 1989 protests on Tiananmen Square and Occupy Central. We see many similarities between the 1989 protests and our democracy movement here in Hong Kong, Fang said. We believe that it is our duty as students to engage in student movements. We are willing to sacrifice more for our community because of our status as students. We hope that we will be able to keep alive the spirit of the 1989 movement here in Hong Kong, he said. Fang said his union won't be attending the vigil, however, owing to disagreements in principle over the main focus of the event. We may not attend the Patriotic Alliance's event, but we will be speaking out in the spirit of the 1989 Beijing Spring, Hong Kong lawyer Albert Ho. Head of eight protest organizers the Hong Kong Alliance in support of the patriotic democratic movement in China said it is hard to tell yet whether the younger generation born after the Tiananmen massacre have less emotional connection to it. You could interpret it in that way, that students are rethinking it or care less about it, but it is also possible that they are more alienated than we were, Ho said. We don't need to put labels on it, though. As if that movement only belonged to a single generation, I think we have much more in common, such as the determination to pursue peace, freedom and humanitarian ideals and to hold to account a regime that violently suppresses its people, he said. Ho declined to estimate the numbers attending the June 4th vigil.